Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, we're going to talk about JPEG to RAW AI by Topaz Lab Software. And right away, I'm going to answer the question, does it work? Yes, it does work. But very quickly, I want to talk about something. Over the past several days, I've been watching other YouTubers do reviews of this product. And a few of them were really disappointed in it. And the reason why they were disappointed in it is because they're expecting it to do something that Topaz Labs doesn't claim it does. Several of them took drastically underexposed images, drastically underexposed JPEGs, ran it through the software, and then bemoaned the fact that when they opened up the shadows, no detail all of a sudden appeared. Well, this software can't create something from nothing. So if you crush the shadows or you blew out the highlights, don't think that all of a sudden this software is going to return detail to those shadows and highlights because the detail just isn't there. So it doesn't do that. And Topaz Labs doesn't claim it does do that. Also, another um, YouTuber uh, who shoots Fuji, happens to be shooting Fuji, uh, kind of was complaining that when they converted the JPEG to a RAW file, the film simulation modes from Fuji all of a sudden weren't available. Well, again, that's creating something from nothing because in the case of Fuji with the film simulation modes or with other cameras with their camera profiles, when you're shooting JPEG, whatever profile or film simulation mode you're set at gets baked into the JPEG and those other ones that might be available are not referenced or put into the JPEG. So it, again, can't create something from nothing. So it's not going to do that. What does it do though? Well, what it does is it reduces artifacts. Artifacts are these little kind of squiggly lines. Think of a satellite dish if it's snowing out and you start getting snow on your satellite dish and how it kind of pixelates. Because JPEGs are compressed and the amount of compression will vary depending on your settings, uh, you will sometimes get these artifacts. This software will reduce those when it converts it to RAW. Also, um, because again, a JPEG is compressed, it often will lose sharpness. So it will uh, restore sharpness or remove blurriness uh, from your image. And that's what Topaz Labs claims it does. And that's what it does. That's what I found at least. So I'm going to show you it working very quickly. Um, again, just if you have a JPEG that you wish you shot raw, you wish was just a little sharper, you have some artifacts in it you wish were gone, this software should help you. Now, I don't often shoot JPEG, but I actually did accidentally uh, shoot JPEG once. I have this image here. Um, I was at the zoo and I was fiddling around with my camera and I was near the tiger uh, enclosure and all of a sudden I heard a splash and I jumped up and I saw the tiger swimming right towards me. And I took a couple shots and I didn't realize uh, right away that I was in JPEG mode until almost immediately after that. I sat down and I would start filling with my camera again and realized I shot those images all JPEG. And I was really disappointed because I kind of liked this image. Uh, but it's a typical JPEG. There really aren't any artifacts in it, but it isn't quite as sharp as the raw file would be. So let's see what we could do with this. Now I have, um, you could just open the software here or open the image there. I'm just gonna pull it over and just drag this JPEG over and just drop it right in there. So it's going to open it that way. Now, uh, this is a batch editor, so you could do more than one JPEG at a time. So you could drop a bunch in there. Unfortunately, it doesn't work as a plugin. It's a standalone product only, so you can't use it as a plugin in Lightroom or Photoshop or any other application. Hopefully they change that soon because I would really prefer to use it as a plugin because I use Lightroom uh, to organize my images and I'd rather uh, send images over from Lightroom if possible. Now, the way the workspace is, at the top you have the images, I only have the one in there, and on the left is the original image over here in the viewer on the right is the preview. It will generate a preview based on your settings over here. You have two different ways to process the image automatically, which is set now, or manually. Um, I prefer manually, and if we click on that, you can see there's only two sliders. Again, it only removes JPEG artifacts and it will help reduce blur. So those are the two sliders. It doesn't rescue detail in crushed shadows or blown out highlights, so there's not a slider for that. So don't expect it to do that. So um, 
whenever you move any slider or if I just like reposition the image over here, it's going to generate the preview again. Now, depending on the speed of your computer, this may take some time. I happen to be doing my videos on an older iMac. It's actually a 2013 iMac, so it's pretty old. Uh, so the previews in that take a little while. I also have a MacBook Pro that is less than a year old that I bought the best processor for, a ton of RAM, and the best um, video card or video processor for. And that computer, it goes super fast. So I um, encourage you to download the trial first and make sure that it runs um, properly on your machine and that it's not going to drive you nuts because it does take a little while to do that processing. Also, if you move any slider over here, it's going to reprocess and it may be slow. Now, just judging by the auto mode, what it did for auto mode over here, it um, definitely improved sharpness. Uh, it's definitely sharper over here than over here on the original image. Now, you may not be able to see that in the video because, of course, you're streaming the video. What I'll do is in the description below this video, I'll have a link for you, and you could download the original JPEG and my converted JPEG to RAW, and you could take a look on your computer and decide for yourself whether it sharpen the image uh, adequately. I think it just doing it automatically, it did sharpen it. It's not dramatic, it did sharpen it though. And it didn't reintroduce any artifacts or anything which you often uh, will, uh, which will often happen when you sharpen an image. Now I'm just gonna go back to manual mode for a second. And we had the two sliders, the uh, reduce JPEG artifacts and remove blur. I mentioned there really aren't any JPEG artifacts in this image because even when I accidentally did shoot JPEG in my camera, I had it at fine. So I was uh, not, I was compressing that JPEG that much in my camera. So I don't have too many artifacts. So I'm going to take the remove blur and I'm just going to max that out. Now you can see it's generating the preview and well, let's see what it does. See if it introduces any JPEG artifacts. Um, it really didn't, but I got a lot of more detail, especially on the nose of the tiger. Uh, you could see really the pores of the tiger and you could see you could definitely see the finer hairs now so it definitely at least as far as this preview is concerned uh, improved the sharpness of the image so i think that's good um, i'm not going to do much again there's only the two sliders um, output i'm going to send it to the desktop uh, file name you could give it a, a new prefix you could add edit at the end of the name i'm just going to add edit at the end of the existing name and then the file format dng of course is raw and then you could uh, send it out as a TIFF. It's, they give you two choices, uh, TIF or TIFF. It's still a TIFF file. Uh, but I'm going to, of course, do D and G. And as simple as that. And I'm going to click Start. Now, this is where it may take some time on your machine. On my iMac, this takes a couple, three minutes uh, to do this. Um, so, you know, uh, what I'll do now is I'll pause the video and then we'll return. And I'm going to have both images open in Photoshop and you could compare them uh, from there. And again, in the description below the video, I have a link so you could download uh, the images yourself and just see it for yourself. Also, I have a discount code for to Topaz Labs. I'll have all that uh, listed below the video as well. If you want to purchase anything from them, you could save 15% with my discount code. All right, I'm back. It finished the process and I opened both images up in Photoshop and I have them uh, set up so we could see them both at the same time. On the top is the JPEG, on the bottom is the RAW file, the DNG file. And just at, even at this magnification, I could see a little more detail in the RAW file. And if we zoom in a bit on each of the images, to there, and I'll come down here. Um, you could see there's a lot more detail. I could even see the pores of the tiger's nose uh, in the raw file. I can't see those in the JPEG. And there's a lot more finer hair detail uh, throughout the snout and mouth area of this uh, tiger in the raw file that uh, isn't as well defined in the JPEG. So it definitely works. It definitely does what they claim it does. But again, if uh, this was really overexposed let's say and i blew out that white fur in the tiger it isn't suddenly going to return all those fine hairs that got blown out it just can't do that so it may not be something that you'd use but if you have a bunch of jpegs maybe when you first 
started uh, shooting, started in photography, maybe uh, you shot JPEG and then you converted and started shooting over to RAW, or maybe you started out with an entry level camera that wasn't a DSLR or a mirrorless or something, and that only shot JPEG, and you want to convert those to RAW. It's a batch converter as well, so you could drag a bunch of files into it and it will convert them all at once. Uh, so that might be something that interests you. And again, in the description below the video, I'll have a link uh, so that you could check it out and you could use my discount code when you purchase it or anything at Topaz Labs. I also have a link again to these files. Download them and check them out for yourself. It's not dramatic, but it definitely is improved. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>